Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dave the Phone Guy, and today, as you can see, I have Razer's Hammerhead True Wireless Earbuds. So I'm gonna dig in a little bit with you guys. I'm gonna tell you how they feel. I'm gonna tell you how they sound. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you what I think, because that's why you're here, for my opinion, right? Let's do it. Let's get into it right now. If you came to prove, there's no reason to prove. Let's first get the specs out of the way. It has Bluetooth 5.0, an ultra low latency mode, custom tuned 13 millimeter drivers with touch controls, water resistant rating of IPX4. Battery life is four hours of straight use and then an additional 12 hours with the charging case. So let's talk about the standout feature or the main purpose for these headphones. It's gaming mode. Razer says it'll have an extremely low 60 millisecond latency, which means the audio will stay synced with your device and will never stutter, providing a competitive gaming advantage and a more immersive experience for video and music. So what they mean guys, the audio is never gonna lag like other wireless earbuds. For me, this works great for watching YouTube videos. The earbuds were always able to keep up with the video feed. There's nothing more annoying to me guys when you're watching a YouTube video and you see the person's mouth moving and the audio is just like a hair behind. Just, it just is a little annoying. Now, this mode is not activated by default, and I'm guessing that's because it must chew up battery life. To enable gaming mode, what you have to do is double tap the earbud and then hold, and you'll actually hear in the earbud it says gaming mode, and then you repeat that step and it'll turn it off. The other touch controls are as followed. A single press will trigger a play pause with your media. It'll also answer a call that's incoming. A double tap will trigger the next track and can also answer and switch to a new call. A triple tap will trigger your previous track. So when you're listening to your playlist, it'll jump back to the last track, basically. If you hold for two seconds, it'll trigger your voice assistant or it'll reject and end your current call. Hopefully in the future, Razer is going to provide the ability to increase or decrease the volume with a swipe gesture. So if you swipe down, it will decrease. And if you swipe up, well, it'll increase. Now that we're talking about volume, let's talk about the sound that comes out of these custom tuned 13 millimeter drivers. It's genuinely stunning. You can hear everything and the bass hits really hard. These are indeed the best sounding earbuds I have ever used. Now while talking on the phone, no one complained of the call quality. I was told I sounded clear, but they could hear all the background noise around me. Now speaking of noise, there is no noise cancellation of any type on these. I did take these with me on a trip and while on the plane, I was barely able to hear the audio from the video I was watching. I actually had to turn on the subtitles so I knew what was being said. The hammerheads are IPX4 rated, which means you can use them while working out or in the rain without any problems. The battery life on these have been great. I haven't used them more than two hours at a time, but they are rated for four hours per use. Also, the case holds 12 additional hours worth of charges, and you can charge these from zero to 100 in one and a half hours. Now that we're talking about the case, let's talk about the problems it has. So opening up the case in low light situation is quite tricky as you can't really tell which is the front or the back. You're gonna fumble with it for a bit. Once you have the case in the right position, it will still be challenging to open it as you'll have to get your finger right in the groove. If you're a little to the left or a little to the right, it's just gonna slide right off the front. Now, while the case is closed, it will keep the earbuds securely in place, but the magnets are weak and the earbuds can fall out with a slight jar. 
Then when taking the earbuds out of the case, the earbuds on the left is for your right ear and the earbud on the right is gonna be for your left ear. After doing this process a few times, it'll start to become a little bit more natural. Also, just like the Xiaomi Air 2 I reviewed, there is no battery indicator on the front of the case. So you can't really tell how much charge is left in the case. Maybe in the future, they'll add it to the app itself, but as of right now, there's no way to tell. Everyone's ears are slightly different, but for me, these were very comfortable. I was able to keep these in my ears for hours at a time without any pain or discomfort. They're so light and comfortable, I would sometimes forget that I even had them on. In the last six months or so, I've reviewed the Honor Fly Pods, which were $129, the Weiwu Free Buds 2 Pro, which were $169, the Xiaomi Mi Air 2, which were $59, and now the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Earbuds. These are only $99, and I believe they're the best value on the market, hands down. They have great battery life, they are incredibly comfortable, and they sound amazing. If you are in the market for a high quality wireless earbud, these should be on your shopping list. Guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm Dave the Phone Guy, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll get notified of my next video. And that's it. Peace, I'll talk to you in the next one.